My name is Gravity, and on this episode of The Battlefield Show, Julian and I discuss Patch 2.2.0. What in the ever-living hell happened here? We'll also reflect on the Liquidators event. Was the 8v8 and 16v16 themed event something to repeat? Next, we'll talk new content from the recent patch, new guns, and the orbital map rework. At least, something good came out of this update. Finally, we'll discuss 2042's Portal Mode. Is it dying off? Is such a separate mode even worth it? Joining us this week is Twitch streamer and literally the nicest man in the world, your big brother Steve. This is The Battlefield Show. All right. Well, welcome back to the Battlefield Show, everybody. Uh, it's been a couple weeks off. I know I'm your host, Julian Janganu, uh, with my co-host here, Gravity. And we're joined with special guest, your big brother, Steve. Hello, brother hello. Steve. Good hello, to hello. Good to see, Great to see you guys again. It's been a while. Uh, we had TwitchCon. Bit. We had uh, a whole bunch of busy stuff. Uh, last weekend, we, we had a lot to do. It's been really busy, really hectic, but we're finally back. Uh, and good to have Brother Steve here. Uh, I need to play catch up with Brother Steve, man. <laughs> I haven't seen you in so long. You've been on the Battlefield Show. I've been busy. Show. I've been busy the last two, three weeks, man. <laughs> I know. You've, you've been on the Battlefield Show with us uh, twice before, a long time ago during BF5. Yep. And then we did the round table. And that was crazy because BF5 was such an abysmal game. Yeah. But you know, it was fun, and, though. We were like, what, yeah, 10 of us? Yeah. That was insane. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was crazy for sure. Uh, but yeah, Steve, um, what have you been up to? What's going on with your life right now? Um, I've been a little bit busy the last couple of weeks. I uh, went to TwitchCon. I met that handsome guy over there, Mr. Gravity at TwitchCon San Diego and all his group of friends. And be- be- before that, though, I was over in Miami to hang out with my sister for like a week. So like no streaming, no gaming then. Then San Diego oh, came back here. It was a busy like two weeks and I was out of it. <laughs> So uh TwitchCon, I know I met you at TwitchCon, the the one just before the pandemic hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so what was it like going back um, there? Our group was smaller. Our our little community was a lot smaller. 2019 we had what like 40 really? people the battlefield. This year lot, was like yeah. 25 ish and like smaller groups kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, when I went man. Yeah, when I went in 2019, I was uh planning to go with a couple friends of mine that were my travel buddies. But they ended up canceling, so I was like, "Oh my god, I'm going traveling by myself!" Yeah. Like, and uh, <laughs> but once I got there and I met all the Battlefield boys, mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh shit, I'm not alone yeah. at all. I got tons of people here I know." I actually so, hung out with a giant Tarkov community. We, there was like a 300 person right. meetup, and Pestily, Clean, Batty, American Dad. I got to hang out with, like a bunch of cooler other like big streamers as well. Like this year it was fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Was that like uh off the off the campus there, or it was like it was like party? on the um on the side of like the that those stairs go up a couple stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was whew, massive. It was fun though. And then oh, uh, it's just right that, outside. Yeah, yeah, right outside. You're not oh, supposed wow. to do it, but no one's gonna tell 300 people to go away. You know what I mean? It was <laughs> super fun. <laughs> and then my sister had a giant meetup as well, like in the low key kind of thing, because that, that was fun. Got to meet the rest of the whole leaf pile. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, what else? What else happened out there? I mean, I- I'm sure there's a lot of parties like off. Um, off the... went to, we went to a couple bars, did a couple bar hopping, went to like a yeah, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. restaurant with the guys. Pretty fun. What about that and one we new... went to last time? Wasn't that Irish pub? Did you go back to that one? No, we went to this arcade one. It was pretty Ooh. fun, like arcade sports bar and had a bunch of espresso martinis, and that was fun. <laughs> Dude, you must have been up all night. I know, Gravity. Uh, I, a little bit. <laughs> I, know, I asked Gravity, I was like, why don't you hang out with Brother Steve? I guess you're a party pooper, ain't Gravity? I guess so. Our, our group was not heavy drinkers, so we turned well, in Well, I will say early. this, though. I would turn in at, like, 11.30. Our boy Energized Night and all them would party till 3 in the morning. Like, I was a party pooper to them. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, on, the, on, the, on the dance floor till 3 a.m. Like, man, I, I'm almost 30. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm burnt out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they got and I'm yeah. jet lagged. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they're the same time zone as you pretty much. True, right? but they are. They're young. Like, what, 24, 25? They have all the energy in the world. I'm like, I got to be up in the morning at 8 in the morning. Yeah. Shit. I keep, I, keep, I keep forgetting how old we are. Jeez, yeah, geez. we're getting there. <laughs> we're we're still playing Battlefield, but yeah. yeah. But it was fun though. TwitchCon in total was really fun. Met a lot of new people that I do watch on occasion, and a couple new connections. It was cool to see all the people, all the new streamers from Battlefield that've been like growing up in the last year or two years. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, I, I believe I believe it'll be in San Diego again next year. If all things. Oh, I think it's safe. forever. I think it's forever. Oh, is uh, it forever? San Diego. Oh, yeah, unless we need East Coast. Um, Give us an East Coast Twitch card. I think it's all. It's, it's all. I think it's all money. It would just depend if somebody gave him a better deal. True, because yeah. Europe is going to yeah. Paris. Yeah. Oh, no more Amsterdam, mm -hmm. huh? Nope. That might be worthwhile. Yeah, Paris. I is know huge. the Frenchman can be a little, little rough around the edges. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in Quebec and Canada, and they they don't like us. <laughs> hey, if they have a strong contract there in Paris, then you know that's what they have there in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Like it's just there for them. Like it's reserved. Yeah. They probably like the price, and, and the, the it's area a, is nice too. It's like a you know, great the, area, right there, and and like uh, the Padres are in the, in the playoffs as yeah. well. So they can the have Padres. that show there. Yep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you go to the show? Um, I watched like the first act. I took some beautiful night pictures and then left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't care for Megan. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of in and outs over there. It, it, it's a good location. I'm surprised they can uh, get that every time. Um, but yeah, it's it's fun. You gotta be on the field and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So. That's really cool. Yeah, Padres never made it to the uh, World Series. So close. Oh, no. The Phillies are in. For, for, for yeah. Right. Shit. <laughs> Yesterday was uh, pretty... Ooh, gnarly, huh? Baseball. Yeah. Yeah, good old baseball. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, uh, bro, Steve. Well, welcome back to the show. It looks... Thank uh, you, Julia. Things are... Uh, <laughs> they look a little different now, huh? Uh, we, we, we upgraded since you were last on, um, and I brought on good old co-host uh, Gravity here. We got a lot of Battlefield Gravity knowledge. We're going to be in person, too. Super sweet. Aww. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's why we have him on here. And uh, we, uh, since the last Battlefield show, we have basically missed uh, uh, talking about a few things. Uh, and there was... Battlefield 2042's first event, and everyone was like so excited. A year to do an event, like finally. a year, yeah, a year <laughs> later, we get an event, and we're like, "Ooh, this is cool." We see the trailer and all that stuff, and you know, they had the little website up there, Gravity. If you want to show like what it would, what it looked like, um, it looked really like spooky, kind of, you know, or it had that vibe, a, a, a Halloween vibe to it. But it but wasn't even it a was, event, though. <laughs> yeah, it was It was kind of weird because they're all dressed in white. It was like a yeah. liquidators event, is what they called it. And I'm guessing they're they are uh, hired assassins or something to clean out the the show. I don't know what's going yeah, on. The albums are more for like winter. You know what I mean? Not even Halloween. <laughs> well, the weird thing about it is like it wasn't even it didn't classifying it as an event is a weird thing cuz like it'd be a five way to just gone oh this is like a two week two week game mode like the yeah. you know like the, <laughs> you know it's like oh here, here, here's outpost yeah. something like that exactly <laughs> you just you just get extra stuff with it it's a little more themed yeah so yeah to me it seemed man do you, i it seemed last minute to me do you guys get that feeling um probably not last minute but like just under ener energized i guess like just like eh, here's the thing out of the, out of the yeah blue for sure yeah definitely out of the blue and it it, it looks like um they introduced the uh, new game modes right an 8v8 which is what they started with oh, it's terrible it con conquest oh small god it was so bad I so think. here okay bro steve uh okay let's start with you uh, 8v8 first week I mean, first half, yeah, first week, right? I, I played um, like two rounds what do you think? and never again. I had my community with me and like, like, we're like, played two rounds, like, nope, can't do it, boring. Or like, because it was, it was actually boring. worse than the BF5 Squad Conquest, because that's what it was. 
But these maps weren't based for like a three lane kind of like squad conquest kind of mode. So it was just played bad. You would load in late because, you know, they love throwing you into like, oh, the game's already half over. Here you go. <laughs> it is. <laughs> like, I can't That's order a really good point. Empty. But like triple caps, triple cap, triple cap, like boring. Just like, all right, I'm done now. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I mean, waited until the second half to play, honestly. <laughs> I mean, my, my take on this is really straightforward, dude. You, you see the event, you click on it, but then mm. you notice in Portal that it's also there? Like, it didn't work at first, right? Mm. It was uh, kind of borked, I guess. Gotcha. And then they launched it like a few hours later. But I'm like, okay, well, let's just try the Portal one. So I click on the Portal one, and I'm not earning anything. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I, I'm getting the ribbons to get the unlocks. Right? There's like mm -hmm. four unlocks, which we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> but like, I, I I go on the portal one. I'm playing and I'm not progressing. I'm like, what the freak? And it's super confusing because you have to click on the liquidators event button, mm -hmm. then play that mode that they have yeah. there, which is, I don't, was it even ran on the portal like software? Or was it ran on the All Out Warfare? I, think I can't it was all warfare. tell. Yeah, I think it was All Out warfare. warfare. Yeah, yeah, it seemed like it was, but I, it's, it 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 was very confusing at first, and uh, that that's pretty much it. So let's get into the skins. Uh, Gravity, what did you think about uh, the skins that were introduced here? They look so cool and okay, and white. And I think I the don't biggest know. thing that we should talk about with the skins is the fact that you had the opportunity to unlock four of them but the <laughs> like the vast majority you had to buy in the store for an egregious sum of money and so take a look at this picture in, oh, right? hold on, one sec one, take a look at this picture here and brother steve gravity yep. yep what can you earn from that picture none of those none, none. i remember the isn't it skin just the guy the on the left right it's just the guy on the left uh i think Dozer. i think i think you got a skin right? or, or I th no i think you got a weapon skin like, yeah. That was the first one. And the final one was a legendary tank skin they earned. Yeah. There was two skins and like a calling card and an emblem. But it was like four rewards. And that was it. The the player card is yeah. the dude Award. on the left. You just okay. got a player card of him, okay. not the actual skin. Oh, here, here oh there. Go. Uh, yeah, there you this go. is some of it. This is not this is not the actual stuff you get, but maybe one of these. But yeah, the tank you got a tank skin. Not but look at I mean, look at all the stuff that you they had they gave you the opportunity to get, and you got <laughs> None of that really for free. Yeah, so you had to go into the store to yep, pay. And, yep, yep. How much did it cost, Brother Steve? Like all together? Oh, probably like thirty or forty dollars, honestly. Somebody it was the, like somebody it was like map. four bundles, I think. I think it was like four bundles or maybe five. I don't remember. Somebody, <laughs> somebody did the math. It was it was like it was like seventy or eighty dollars just for the whole thing. It was crazy. Maybe it was decisive that figured it out. Yeah. What was what after looking at all this stuff? What is the point you think in their eyes of this event for Battlefield? Their first of Battlefield event, maybe to see community community engagement and see how interested we are in future events. Two things: okay. generate hype, make money. That's it. Yeah. And, what do you as, think? and based on the amount of skins in the store. Probably not a lot. They probably didn't make yeah. a lot of money. <laughs> they probably generated some hype for sure, because I mean, it came yeah. with a patch oh, yeah. and some extra stuff. But that but... first week was so bad, though. The second event was very good, though. I actually really enjoyed the sixteen v sixteen mode. So was yeah, it? it increased from eight v eight to sixteen v sixteen. I believe that was I believe. way more enjoyable. I actually finished the event playing that. <laughs> I feel like that uh, definitely was more catering to the chaos side of mm -hmm. things for those, and I think that's what. You know, the Battlefield fans seem to like nowadays since we're embracing the chaos recently. And uh yeah, it's it's cool. Even hell, I think um I think it was a lot better. But once I got those, you know, unlocks, I was like, I'm kinda out of here. I want yeah. like something bigger, you know? It's yeah, it was kinda like my cup board. of tea. I think and, uh talk about events, that new event they dropped, like shortly after that, it was like a uh, Call of Duty headquarters where you couldn't spawn if you owned the flag. Right, so that that's was, recent. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so bad. Like, could have been, been <laughs> hard point, right? Like, hard points, like, you capture a flag, you still spawn. It was like so a I, head Yeah. Head. I thought it was, was going to be random, like, in so places bad. where the flags would never be. But they're all in three set locations. Like, kind of like yeah. on that map right there. 
that's where the hard point would be in one of those three set mm-hmm. places, like randomly. It's like, but, I don't want to play a game where I can't respawn in. Like, that's why I play Battlefield. I can well, spawn over the way that it looked, <laughs> The way that it, my experience of it was, was that if you had two of the flags, you can still spawn on either one, but the moment you capped all three, you had to spawn on the main. You like you, you, It was like a combat mechanic where you got yeah, four stuff. Yeah. yeah. You got yeah, so yeah. this mode we're talking about is called Blockade. Yeah, uh, they came out on, on Portal. Uh, and there's like a lot of more interesting things you can add uh, for your custom servers um, uh, through the Portal backend. And uh, I guess it gave them the opportunity to make this. So uh, maybe expect more of these kind of game modes in the, in the future. Uh, it's just... It it it, di- it didn't work for me at launch. Um, the problem with blockade was the UI was bugged out sometimes, mm-hmm. and the attackers or both teams saw different hard points, so they wouldn't attack each other. So like oh, really? I, I I know I would, that yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, I think it happened once for us. And okay. We were like. Where the hell is the other team? <laughs> and we're like just here, sitting here, defending, waiting for them to and, come in, yeah, take the hard point. The and they're on the other <laughs> one that they think is a true hard point. And check this out: once the counter, the the timer went down, mm-hmm. they started capping their hard point, and ours just disappeared. Oh I'm no! Like, Did we just lose because the UI just shafted us? That that's too funny. Now that yeah. happened once. I really didn't understand what was happening. Maybe I could pull up the video on that one day, but it was very odd. And then I just stopped. I was like, "No, nah, I ain't, I ain't yeah. dealing with this." I played it for like two rounds. That was it. like, I I can't do this. It plays too slow. And you gotta like try to survive. You have to like because if if your team captures that flag, no more spawns. Like you're just sol. Like no spawn. Gotta hold it. Like that's cool. yeah. You just gotta wait till your because team kind of the amount of yeah. grenades on your head like i can't survive all these just explosions on me like whatever yeah the 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 blockade also uh, brought back uh the reviving is different or you can crawl yeah, you, around yep, yep you can move yeah you can move and stuff so uh, that was a interesting take on it it was it was all right it's just i, I wish it worked <laughs> it was kind of cool with the liquidators event how they capped you at having certain specialists you can only have like one per squad that ah yes like that was a small cool thing. Cool, but also a little annoying and confusing yeah. for some uh, players that are kind of used to playing the game a certain way. Mm-hmm. And then you're you spawn in, right? Everything's capped or whatever, uh, and you're ready to go. But you don't realize until you switch to your there's you no know, specialist. There's no prompt telling that yeah. you changed to irish or something yep, yep you're just right <laughs> you're just like oh my god i just put a shield barricade what the hell happened <laughs> like yeah. and then you have to like die and then figure out what's going on and or like you load in and a random has your preferred special like get, get off him that's I'm, I'm an angel or i'm a falc why are you him you're terrible yeah, <laughs> yeah so that, that was a really really confusing part there was a uh, barely any information about that to the user so they could probably improve on that later um they're gonna have to do something with season three coming up and mm-hmm. you know the class system rework we'll get into that uh get our t- get your takes on all that stuff coming up in season three but anyway let's wrap up this whole liquidators event and let me ask you the simple question um should they have another one of these depends on the yeah. game mode yeah yeah depends on the game mode yeah for sure uh, and okay. give us more earnable rewards as well. Don't lock ninety eight percent of them to a store. Okay, yeah. that's why I wanted to know. I want to know like what you guys think about like rewarding the players yeah, for an event. That'll keep players playing the event for sure. If there's a more of a you know, especially if you've got some crazy exotic skins towards the end. Yeah, and but... make the skins look cool as well. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> Personally, I don't think I don't think this event was bad. I think the way that they did the maps and they have got these small versions of the maps is great. But these are the things you should just have at launch. Um, mm. Like, the mode should be in I the know, game right? at launch. Because for a casual player who's just going to dump into a public game with 838, this isn't enjoyable. But if you were to play comp on this, you'd be go, yeah, I can do that. Or even even the Caspian 60 or 838 size is fine. I would even add a single tank spawn just to make it a little more interesting from a comp perspective. But for a pub, yeah, I can understand how many players could see it was too slow. And I got that experience sometimes, too. Because there's a lot of people that would snipe. You'd have, like, two snipers on a team and, like, okay, I guess 
half the team isn't going to push this flag, right? It'd be really boring. Um, All by myself. <laughs> and I think that's why 16v16 was better because suddenly it was many more people in a faster paced environment like Battlefield yeah. players are used to. I so, agree. Yeah. Yeah. I wish they had uh, some sort of domination uh, kind of, you know, flag capture and point scheme for domination. I, I, I guess it doesn't seem to be possible in Portal. I don't know, but that's something that I think they definitely can I improve on. But yeah, uh, when you get just quick, real quick, uh, when you guys mentioned this should be at launch, do you mean for all at warfare launch, like where the public will play it, or are you talking about Portal? Launch? I don't mean it should be a featured game mode. What I mean is it should be the the tool set should be there to make a custom game mode and a custom server, so that anybody that wants to play that mode should be able to. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Gotcha. All right, well, I guess um, hopefully we'll see another event with, I guess, less of a money grab and mm -hmm. more for rewarding the player. And okay. uh, yeah, DICE can do that with simple little things. Just give us a little bit more to unlock as the two weeks progress through uh, and not charge us up the ass for skins would be very nice because... Like I said, once I and Brother Steve agrees, like once I got that stuff, the four skins or I was whatever, <laughs> I'm out. Like I'm just gonna go back to playing normal Battlefield mm. uh, whenever I possibly can because sometimes they take away my 64 player conquest mode for some strange reason every week. I do yep. not know why they do that. But anyway, uh, let's move on. Next topic to talk about is uh, the 2.2 patch. That just came out right now, uh, a, a few days ago. That introduced the Orbital remake. It also introduced uh, three new vault weapons. The AKS-74U, which is like a submachine gun. The ACWR, which is an assault rifle. And they also introduced the... Was it MP-20 Rex? Is that what it is? Yep. Yeah, the Rex, yeah. I don't know if... M no, MP-412 Rex. That's what it was. So that's... that ended up being really fun uh, <laughs> but uh the orbital remake is the big change here and there's all a bunch of other uh, bug fixes that you can see here well uh let's start with the, the guns. first experience that i think everyone uh kind of had was this game is unplayable i see it a lot in uh reddit and i'm like mm -hmm. i see a lot on twitter i was like what the hell's going on? Because I'm not experiencing this right away. And then all of a sudden when I'm playing, boom, I am in slow motion mode. Yep. All of a sudden mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck is this? I'm like, well, and my FPS tanks to like 20, just out of nowhere, like completely yep. randomly. And uh, I try to exit the game. When I exit, it freezes <laughs> and it crashes, hard crashes. So I got to yeah. restart the game. And this seems yeah, to be Xbox a trend. Xbox and the dashboard, basically. I had to close the whole game and reboot it, basically. I'll take the yeah. lead on this one, too, because the last Battlefield show we had, we had just received a patch that was really good. It had bo bo boosted yeah. FPS. Guns had come out. They were fairly decent. Like, there was not... It fixed a lot of UI issues. It was a good patch, right? And I'm like, how... You know, just keep this up, please. And then this comes mm -hmm. out. And this is, like, among the worst patches of a Battlefield game ever. And the like, game is still crashing today. They don't know yeah. why, either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No hot fixes. No no communication from DICE like, well, hey, maybe you should, you know, re-verify your game files on Origin. Or maybe you should, you know, reset your configs or your uh, uh, your your game cache, which apparently fixes a little bit of it. But it's like, yeah, well, I, have not, yeah. I have not seen so many problems of a game post patch and they, and they even removed the head yeah that's what i'm talking the about the reward system as well like maybe that'll fix it or yeah. remove from everybody and but it, like, it, the thing is it's not just game crashes right yeah. i have seen more game freezing more yeah. game slow-mo more invisible players more invisible weapons more invisible vehicles whether you spawn in them or their enemies uh invisible assets such as walls or bridges it's just insane. The it's like the fall the, apart. <laughs> the end game UI thing is now just a bunch of spinny circles. The ACWR animation at the like on the menu is just like you know missing an arm and it's the the guns yep. like holding <laughs> like, it sideways. Holy number shit. one! Like every aspect of the game is just broken. Is <laughs> like, what just happened? The, what the hell? right? 
It's just a mess, yeah. But uh, Battlefield Direct Communications did put out uh, a couple things. They said they're aware of this situation and trying to figure it out. And then all of a sudden, a couple days ago, our a beloved uh, login reward for the event... I believe it was a McKay Dust Shield yep, I had skin. These. I don't know if you get, if you have that up there. Uh, I'll find it. Yeah. I, 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 uh, um, on Twitter, it ended up being a skin that they're like, "Hey, we believe this login reward mm-hmm. is causing um, issues with performance in 2042." So they vaulted it, <laughs> and then I'm like, "Okay, cool, cool. They they fixed it, right? They've done this before." With the uh, you know a uh, uh, dozer shield though that didn't really it was broken and then he did it with the the motion balls which was yep. causing tons of performance issues. I still miss throwing that up working. Ones. Just throw it here, two. <laughs> yeah, and here's the difference though. Uh, <laughs> it didn't do anything. Like it's only a cosmetic. Still... It doesn't do anything. That's my thought. Like it's a cosmetic. It's not like it's oh, actually. You'll be surprised, brother. You'd be surprised from a because yeah. the Pokeball. I can imagine. I can see why the Pokeball would do stuff because it's like it's interacting with the other player base and doing spotting. Like it's doing stuff. You know what I mean? So I don't yeah. see why a cosmetic would break the game. You know what I mean? It's so weird. When yeah, meshes I mean, collide, yeah. it can be really weird. Like, think of the way that how vehicles right. interact with each other sometimes, and how yeah. sometimes it'll force someone to bounce and go crazy. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's how sometimes like map across <laughs> across the yeah. map. Like. Why am I flying that's now? Why sometimes, <laughs> that's why sometimes map development takes a long time because they'll like have this weird mesh together sometimes mm-hmm. and they don't even realize it. And then they, when they go to render the map, it's like, oh, this weird mesh is colliding and it's crashing the map. And that's, yeah, that's causes problems. So yeah. You uh, hit so, this so, rock at a certain angle, a certain speed. Bam! Yeah, so a skin <laughs> can absolutely do it. But in this case, nope, that wasn't that. Yeah, so they introduced this as a login reward for McKay and now they vaulted it because it thinks it has something to do with the um performance now i don't know it didn't fix anything for me other than i don't get the slow-mo bug anymore do you get that anymore after this maybe maybe it fixed I'm that not, i have not played like two or three days <laughs> yeah, play, okay so okay no. I, i'm just trying to catch up uh with some of the i don't think it fixed anything so try again dice uh, I don't know, but this needs to be but fixed. I'm seeing on like, Twitter, uh, though. Twitter is still hot really with bad. crashes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's still hot with crashes right now. So that's the biggest issue that has come out from uh, 2.2. I thought it was just going to be like, yay, I get new weapons to Tier 1 and grind, and it's going to be fun. So they gave us the these three weapons here. Um, here's my hot take on them real quick. Uh, the Rex is fantastic, but... It has literally nothing on it. It's just the <laughs> Rex. Have fun. It, see that picture right there? That's all you get. There's no attachments. There's no extra weird bullets. There's no radical sights. There's no different grips. No lasers. Nothing. It's just the Rex, right? But it's great. It's still a I've good seen, gun. I've seen some clips. I've seen some clips. I'm like, yeah, that's all right. I don't actually yeah. don't even have it yet. I see. I do like what pistol kills, and I just can't be asked right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think you got a. It says right there, uh, sixty kills with the. Yeah. the I'll the probably M44. do that in the freaking in the co-op right. mode to go get it. You know, <laughs> can you do that? Yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, you can do that for all the new players that are watching the Battlefield show right now. You can just go into co-op, play against bots, and you can unlock anything you want. I personally don't like to do that. I like to get legitly yeah, if I sure. possibly can. Uh, but I'll that's for, a new I'll mechanic. I'll main weapons. But as a sidearm, like, just I need it real fast. <laughs> yeah. And plus, the gun that they're requiring you to do it on is with the M44, yeah. which is a big magnum. Uh, it's really hard to use. It's it's a skill it's cannon, hard you know? To play your normal play style and still try to get a pistol using a pistol. In, like, exactly. Normal. It's not a pop 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 kind of gun it it yeah. takes you some time to uh you know rechamber or however the action that you have to do on it uh and it's kind of weird but uh, it does a lot of damage and i uh, know it's a different way of playing mm-hmm. but uh that's my hot take on that everything I've else been enjoying the AKS. Just, i've enjoyed the yeah. AKS a lot for me <laughs> yeah yeah but just i mean to, to, to do the last two guns uh the aks you know submachine gun it's a classic it's uh I, I the only problem i have with it is the fire rate i think on it yeah. is a little too low for me but it's doable you can get kills with this just I play a little work. bit more conservatively and it's it's fine 
But um, I believe the uh, one of the attachments, uh, the foregrip, doesn't work for some mm, reason. Interesting. Uh, and then the ACWR is the assault rifle that came out, and this is also an, a huge weapon, a very classic weapon, super popular. The, I don't like I it. I think the <laughs> only issue with it is that uh, oh, there's two issues. Uh, the I think the heavy barrel has the incorrect headshot multipliers, which oh is kind of weird. It's the only, like, attachment that has, like, headshot multiplier issues. And uh, I don't think the foregrip does anything. It might. Uh, but the other issue with it is the spread. I think it's a little too much, in my opinion. I think it's and, too yeah. low, and damage is bad, because the scar yeah. is still meta. The scar is still meta, AK is meta, and 5 is meta. This doesn't compete against those at all, no. still. <laughs> but that that that's my take on the ACWR. Let's just get what you guys think about them. Um, yeah, go ahead. Gravity, did you play with any of these new uh, weapons here? I haven't touched the pistol. I haven't even touched the AKS. Um, I I liked the ACWR. It was I found it mid tier. Um, I mean, at, at the yeah. end of the day, it comes down to the fact that it just it feels like it's straight up portal or port ported ported from Portal uh, from BF3, <laughs> where it's just like every other gun and every other main gun in 2042 is like you just hold on the trigger and everything is remains fine but this is like yeah you gotta burst it a little bit it requires a little bit more steady aim and stuff but so it doesn't it doesn't feel it, it's not as you know overpowered or strong as it as it could your mag be. count you only have what 28 at max? 27 like, it, yeah. isn't that like a 28 max like a 27 plus one if like you i think it's 26 plus one i think it's 26 oh. plus one yeah 27 oh. was what it had in bf3 yeah that's right and like the mag count kind of hurts it too. But it's like, eh. yeah, and it has a, su a yep. surprisingly fast rate of fire, so that you you know you can occasionally maybe only get two or three kills with it in a single mag if you, and that's if you're lucky. So, <laughs> but actually, the AK oh. AK was my favorite so far. I made it work for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have to agree. I think the AK is a little bit more uh, enjoyable than the ACWR. But uh, those are three weapons that. Uh, have come to uh, a 2042 base game, right? It's the uh, that's what they're doing. I, I know it can be a really confusing. Um, there are a lot of people on Reddit that post a lot of things that may confuse people. I was gonna bring something up here real quick. Let me. Uh, I ended up saving some stuff. I was like, okay, I I, under I think I understand what people are are talking about. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is from a person from user uh, confused SJC. I don't know if you have that on there. Um, gravity. The vault weapons don't work is uh, one of the uh, posts here about like eight days ago. It says uh, some uh, the user says some of the vault weapons have horrible balancing to a point where there's no point to use them. And we do. We unlock all the vault attachments uh, for the weapons, like automatically. I think that's what he meant. And why not give us the twenty forty two attachments and make us play to unlock them? Yeah. Did anyone think this through? This is a very fair question to ask. I'll tell you right now. It um, takes time. That's it, it. All every single attachment for one of those default twenty forty two weapons, they have to. They have to model the attachment. And even if they don't model it and they want to pull it from somebody else, they have to have that video or the animation and everything. And so everything fits correctly. Everything needs to reflect, reflect, re reflect correctly on the weapon. And every stat multiplier and everything needs to be tallied and corrected and making sure, make sure that everything is working properly. Which, to be fair, even the ones that even the vault weapons <laughs> when they're launched don't have that problem most of the time. Um, but it would add considerable extra development time to those to the releases for those vault weapons. Well, don't forget. They they don't have the tier one skins because you know if they add tier one skins. Totally different the department weapons, though. It's like true, but similar. That's why they said like they can't add skins because it takes a long time. I think they should at least add a one add, add a tier one skin to to all of them. Not maybe not like all the go crazy with all the you know unique stuff, but yeah, I agree. Add, add at least, at least people might actually grind the weapons a bit more if there's a cool skin on them. I agree. Yeah. But but I feel like and that's what pretty much was their argument was you know if we want to go through the whole process of making sure that we have all the attachments for all these guns it's going to just add to the development time for each time for each gun and again right off the bat they said that this is going to be the case and I'd rather have the guns 
yeah. than not have than just keep the same same four <laughs> ARs, <laughs> you know, the next year. Yeah, I think this is it. It, it sucks, but that's the situation we're in. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I, there's a lot of interesting. What, what people need to realize, I think, is um, you know, developing takes a long time. They're usually working right. months and months ahead, and people don't realize that what they're doing right now with vault weapons is a new thing to combat like the, I mean, so little amount of content that's coming out for it. I guess the budget was, uh, you know, constrained a little bit more for them. Maybe that's why we're only getting one map per season and like two new weapons per season. One uh, specialist, no, like it's the bare <laughs> minimum kind of stuff. So yeah, that goes to tell you that, Okay, something they're not really expanding much from there. This is all you're gonna yep. get, and yep. so bringing the vault weapons over is a it's new fluff. thing. It's a good fluff piece <laughs> that they can do. They figured out that they can do this. They take from Portal and bring it over, and that takes way more time than people think because mm -hmm. it's probably meant to be on Portal and Portal alone, and not meant for 2042. So they gotta port all this stuff over. Kind of like, uh, you know, uh, remastering a game that was only meant to be on console or something. I don't know. Yeah. As an example. But, uh, yeah, all this stuff that's coming out is not, wasn't meant to do it at, from yeah. the beginning. So they're kind of playing catch up with this. And that's why you see so many issues with it. They're just, they probably have a small team putting together this and pouring it over and, you know, the lasers may not be aligned or you know, some of the <laughs> there's little the, the attention to detail is not there. Yeah. Like we I, I think that's uh, pretty clear. I'd be surprised um, if we even get two new portal, two new real, real new weapons throughout the rest of the game's life. Like, you know, like the AC, ASV, AM or ASM, whatever it is. Um, just anything that isn't an old portal vault weapon. I'd be surprised if they actually gave us two, at least more than two new brand new spanking guns. I think yeah, they have I don't know. To. I, th I think we will like get at least one or two still like unique new guns for each season. Oh, I think gravity. You meant something else, right? Like, I mean, uh, like a brand spanking old new. School. No, I mean something brand that isn't an old school gun, like a brand new, in, new to weapon. the game type of weapon. Yeah, like oh like, yeah, we, you're, we, you're, you're gonna get that. You're yeah, gonna get we'll, that. We'll get Brother it. Steve said it. Yeah, you'll get two in each, at least two. Uh, in each, uh, there was, there was that tease of up. that crazy, like, laser tank that we saw a trailer of. I, I, yeah, meant, so that's I, like meant, I meant weapon, not tank, but yeah, there was the rail oh, gun yeah, yeah, tank, yeah. 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 I, I think we'll get new guns still, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be a ride if there isn't. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, yeah. We no, it's I, like, that they promised weapons with yeah. an S, so, uh, I don't know. Maybe they don't want to get sued or whatever. So they're that's why they're doing the, like the bare minimum. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like you, they have to release every season, going to have a new location uh, of some sort. So they're going to have one new map at least, and Speaking then the next maps. two it's, seasons. It, it's still almost crazy. Eleven months in, we've gotten two new maps. Jesus, man. Speaking of maps, let's, let's head over to Orbital. I think we should. Uh, that's another good segue here. Segway. Yes. So uh, <laughs> first, we got the renewal update. You know, before the last Battlefield show, and uh, you know that went well. Uh, this, they had the 128 player conquest. Uh, actually, I liked it quite a bit for renewal. And then uh, breakthrough came along. Didn't really enjoy it too much. I guess we could talk about that later. But Orbital has been remade for 128 players and for 64 player conquest and breakthrough. All the modes. And uh, they added tons of new cover all around uh, the map and added, uh, got rid of the, the spawn in um, flags, the, the gimme flags, mm -hmm. which are completely useless, right? And nobody really did. So they got rid of that and they kind of made it more linear. And uh, you spawn off the sides and you move into this new flag right there. You pause right there at 45 seconds. Um, this is the new flag that's in the center of the map, the D flag. And this is kind of uh, on the top of the hill there where there used to be nothing, right? Mm -hmm. And below is another route to the uh, underground tunnel system, which you can go by. Uh, it's actually quite... Zip, zip lines. Uh, 
yeah, the zip line, you use the zip lines to get up and down a couple elevator shafts. I thought they were going to actually add elevators, but I guess this is the easiest way to do that. Um, it's quite sprawling, too. Uh, the, they're all, like, interconnected, the two tunnels. Yeah, they expanded uh, them a underneath. bit. I've yeah. not actually played it yet, but I've just seen people play it, though. I mean, yeah, it's quite it's quite exciting. Delta, this this flag, is pure insanity throughout the entire round from That's 128. Good. It People love it. I'm telling you, it's, again, embracing more of the chaos. This, and because of the way the, the main spawn points are, they mm-hmm. all, everyone just because it's the closest thing. You drive yeah. all your vehicles. See, look, you drive all your vehicles from each side and go right into Delta, and right, it's right in the middle. Madhouse. Gotcha. It's like fuck. It's like bumper cars over there. It is crazy. And then uh, when people give up or like can't do it, they'll they'll, they'll go and uh, take over the north or the south. Gotcha. But uh, yeah, it's it's pure insanity. And uh, basically, in in sixty four player, it's less crazy because those points aren't there anymore, which really sucks. Yeah. The sixty four player version does not have the new uh, delta uh, and and the tunnel and everything. But the layout is a little different. They've added like a couple points. It's kind of similar to like what the north side of the map looks like, but with a couple extra points okay. on C and two on A. You understand? Uh, one on the roof, one at the bottom. Um, it, it's 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 cool. It. What's interesting about the orbital remake for sixty four player conquest is that it feels like you can. It flows. You know, it's interesting going from the b sector to the c sector doesn't feel like you're just going on to the on-ramp there and with zero cover whatsoever and like one uh kind of like uh how do i say the 64 the 64 it's still entirely up north right yeah 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 Yeah. yeah, exactly that's also breakthrough breakthrough is also only still up north as well yeah yeah, 64 that or for but what's no it's not for 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 orbital breakthrough? No, you go here, here. You yeah, you hit this flag, you hit this flag, you hit the B flag or B flag, and then you do the your normal yeah. route. Yeah, it's so, still most is, yeah. You never, you never same. So, yeah. I'm always sad you never no, go down no, south no, no, no. breakthrough though. You know what I mean? It's always so like central and north. Yeah. No, no, no. That that was the 128. You guys are getting confused. <laughs> the 64 starts at the building to defend and attack the the big uh, hangar. I, I've literally no. There is. No, I was literally. I've been literally playing the breakthrough, Exodus breakthrough on this map. You start. Yeah. You start back here, and then you, there's a flag here and a flag here. And then you go straight north, then. And then you go straight north, yeah, to the B flight. Yeah. Yep. Uh. No. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like, it is. It is. You spawn it's, it's there, and you drive up to that to protect it to defend. Yeah. No. 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 What? I, I think you guys are wrong. I don't know. We're not. We're not. You hit that first sector that he has pointed at, then you go straight north. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the <laughs> Russian team starts here. In the old, in the old version, yeah, it was just it was this flag here and this. There was a, the, the refinery up yeah. here, but now it's this one here and this one here, and then you kept these two, and then you go to B. Yeah. Oh, weird. Mm-hmm. Huh. I mean, I have I, I have not been playing Breakthrough that much, but shit, I could have sworn I, I I spawned into it. Maybe I like. They already got those spots already. That's game probably what it was, yeah. Um, it happened so many times in a row. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> well, let's just talk about the Conquest version of this map right now, because this, I mean, this needs to be talked about. This is, Orbital was already, like, one of the better maps of the game. By probably yeah, the best it was. I, I enjoyed it personally a lot. It was one of the most well-balanced. It was one of the most I enjoyable. But, I mean, it had really, fairly close flags, especially. I mean, yeah, and there was, there was cover, like the, concealment, elevation. Yeah, and there, I mean, yeah, we had the gap in the center. We had the the two pole gimme, the two pole gimme flags, which you know rarely ever got any action. But this new design is so good. This is actually one of the first opportunities, I think, in the in the Battlefield series where a map has been almost vertically aligned, where both main bases, like, there's just this huge length of stretch of flags between the two. Uh, Almost, almost just vertically between the main bases, which is really cool because every team can just go which you know to whichever flag they want. It's there's so many routes and you can't get capped out like it like that. Um, the new 
cover is phenomenal around the flags. I kind of wish that maybe instead of E2, they could have just put another flag up closer to the launch tower, because that walk between the B and C flag still kind of sucks. Gotcha. And and it would help out Breakthrough a lot, too, because maybe they'll add another objective. And Because the whole disaster of Breakthrough Orbital is still the C1 flag. It's still almost impossible to defend, especially once the once the the rocket goes it burns all the defenders to death and hey then everybody <laughs> then there's no way you can defend that yeah um so that needs improvement still but the conquest wise um the, yeah the new d flag it, it is like a magnet it, there's just people from e and b that just come down here vehicles try to rush to the top helicopters farm away at it and then there's plenty <laughs> of cover too it's a fantastic thing and you can you know parachute down or glide down from the a1 flag i think this is just a fantastic map now that's yeah, one twenty eight. One twenty eight is actually kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie, uh, it, it's just crazy. But um, there is one what, problem what to I'll... it, though. The problem what? to it is they took away the playlist for it. So if you want to oh, play yeah. it now, you have to play. One, you have to choose to select the one twenty eight conquest play, playlist, and, which is always dead. <laughs> well, it not only is it only dead, but you have to fight your way through Hourglass and Manifest and Breakaway and all the other junk maps just to get to the <laughs> playlist. So it's like. Yeah, Ugh. I'm not going to play this map, even though I really or, want to experience or it. Or hope someone in uh, Portal has that one map playlist. <laughs> no, I'll, if, if it's hardcore, then yeah, but if it's maybe, not... Maybe I'll do it just to test it out and see if I can get traction, but... Yeah, now that we'll we be talking seven, about that soon. Now that we have a seven-day uh, persistent server. Yep, that's true. Yeah. If you have the premium battle pass, though. <laughs> yeah, oh, only right. if you have the premium. Yeah. Yeah, not anyone can just make those. Yeah, I but, saw uh, that. I was like, oh, you need to have the actual spend extra money for a premium battle pass to even do it in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> but either way, this is a phenomenally reworked map on top of an already really well done or pre existing map. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is phenomenal rework. This and, is and already... Breakthrough still plays fine, which is my, my, my main game mode, and it plays fine. I yeah, like this, is, <laughs> this is what a battlefield map should look like. This is, this is perfect. Yeah. It's better than the other map <laughs> that they fixed. <laughs> oh, you talk about renewal? Oh yeah, yeah. Still hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like the one twenty eight renewal. I think it's fine. I mean, I get a little one twenty eight conquest there, renewal there, but... is good. I think I think, yeah, I think Steve was talking about breakthrough. Yeah. Oh, breakthrough! Yeah, that's, that's that's the disaster. Oh my yeah. god, I hate it. I hate it. It never goes anywhere. But anyway, um, that's the orbital remake, and uh, I think we all agree it's it's actually an improvement. Yeah. I, like I would it. say it, it's always been a good map. <laughs> it's an interesting as hell map, too. You got a rocket launching around. Uh, it got kind of boring uh, when the game first came out because it was the beta map. We played for six days straight or whatever. Yeah. So I was like, uh. <laughs> yeah, we got we got kind of sick of it. Exactly. <laughs> and then when the game Actually, launched, the oh rocket just freezes. Are you dashboard like, God damn, the rocket blew up and I froze. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that, was, oh, yeah. that was an issue. I'm glad they fixed that. Yeah. I also thank, wish thank the rocket you. wouldn't blow up and break through every single time. <laughs> Poor Orbital has been through hell, huh? And it's a <laughs> great map. Jesus. It's such a shame. Yeah. No. Hey, with that said, bring on Hourglass. Please, 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 please fix that map. Yeah. So or we got some. Uh, get rid we, of it. we did get a tweet from our uh, community manager saying that they are working on those on the rest of the maps. It's not 100% guaranteed that they'll all come out, mm -hmm. but uh, they are continuing to rework the vanilla maps. That's so good. that's good to hear. That's good to hear. I, I hope they can finish by, uh, you know, end of season four and we can have <laughs> all the vanilla maps all remade or remade. playable. Or whatever. But, <laughs> yeah, think, hopefully think, playable. I think I speak from the, for the whole community when I say that if they don't make it in time to fix Breakaway and Hourglass, that they should just get rid of them. Just take them out of the playlist. You know, kick them to the curb because nobody wants to play those maps. Come on, those are they're horrible. so bad, so empty, so open. Just, just get rid of them if you can't fix them. Yeah, yeah, man. I they should just put that freaking stadium from Hourglass, like just copy and paste it right in the center well, of the guy. Honestly, place. imagine have everyone if... just like converge on it. Just, but honestly, what if they put that in the center of the breakthrough map instead? You know what I mean? Because I like, yeah, never see it on not? breakthrough. You only see it on conquest and never breakthrough. Yeah, <laughs> it's just it's just sitting over there in the desert, not collecting doing more sand. It's and such then, a cool design. And too. then, if you remember the original breakthrough, you jumped off of a stadium. Remember that? Yeah, 
Oh yeah, back in the day. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The one twenty eight one. That, that was it though. You only, you only jumped off of it. Never Which was it. funny because <laughs> my solution to fixing one twenty eight breakthrough back then was not to change anything of the map except reverse the breakthrough order. So start in the city and then end in the stadium. Yes, so you have your that, flags. Is, that would have been that, at least a better improvement on. I mean, you still would have had no cover and everything, but at least the play, the yeah. play up the play it you know, play style of it would have been better. You know, you could have, well, I could have jumped off the buildings, gone to the center. Yeah, been great. Let's hope to God they do that. And I'm never going to clip this, put it on take dog or something so that they have, some people can see it at <laughs> least. But that would be a great idea. I hope, hey, it's still possible, Gravity. It can still happen. And uh, hopefully they'll, they'll see that um, when they're doing the rework. So I'm sure they're reworking on it now, if I, if I were to guess. And that would be the biggest remake if I think. I don't know breakaway. Like I would, you know, what the hell to do with breakaway? I, I mean, would, I think I breakaway. Uh, breakthrough is fine on breakaway, I guess. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about it, but which map is breakaway again? Is that the Arctic map? The Arctic, the Arctic, Arctic map. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think you'd have to put. You know, <laughs> like what do you do? I'm, with I'm that? laughing like, now. Oh my you God. copy and paste the oil rig, and you put two more out there, and then you put like one of those big <laughs> oil tankers from from stranded, and you put it on, in the ice, stuck there. So you have oh, a bunch yeah. of that. I'm just trying to think of a ways to to like at least give. <laughs> that costs too much money. Because <laughs> like that that whole eighty percent of the map is just there's nothing. Like what do mm -hmm. you do? Add ice. more icebergs? It's just no. You add more penguins. Yeah. And I think realistically that we would never be fighting over the Arctic as it is. Honestly, it's kind of interesting. With the the oil the rig is yeah. interesting. A well well designed. I think the the oil rig. Would you guys? Yeah, agree with cool. that yeah. i don't know yeah, the, the, like, the oil rig fighting is interesting you know but then yeah. like, fighting over the oil rig you're getting shot from their spawn though like they have vehicles just sitting in spawn like a 30 mic mic just bah, 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 like oh god <laughs> i don't know i don't even know where to start if i were in charge of redesigning that i would probably just scrap it at that point because it'd probably be way too expensive to change it up any meaningful way you know you can have you can add all the cover you want mm -hmm. on that breakaway map and uh, it's not going to change how bad the, it is especially on well, 128 still, it's still funny how that, that that mountain flag on conquest still rarely <laughs> used and it's part of marketing like oh we're jumping off the mountain it's really it's the first thing we see yeah, yeah. that's it's literally so at the corner of the map that you might go out to to go fly from you know what i mean <laughs> it, it's the poster for 2042 it's, it's mm -hmm. a straight up like uh, um it's a straight up lie basically mm -hmm. uh it looked like oh man we're jumping off like davin man peak dude we're going back to bf3 look at all the rendezvous look at all this shit from older battlefields we're back baby right mm -hmm. and then it just ends up being a corner uh you know sector in the back that no one goes to it's yep. just like that's 2042 right fly there in a nutshell. It and leave it. <laughs> yeah, and you can fly out, fly off into it, to, into nothingness, basically. Or you uh, take like a five minute zip line and get sniped off of it. Cause you're like, I'm zip lining. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's pretty much it for the 2.2 uh, update. We got the orbital rework. Looks like we got some positive stuff out of there. And then the negative is pretty much all the freezes and bugs everyone's getting. Hopefully, they can uh, start doing some changes quickly, uh, especially before season three. Cannot have this during season three. It'd season be really three bad because four weeks or so, three weeks, four. It's weeks. it's coming up soon. Yeah, three three weeks or so. Uh, I assume probably end of November or something. Bugs. They didn't fix that. The season badge bugging, like getting frozen. Like yeah, so they had to like revamp all that, brother Steve. And it looks like it's starting to work. I don't know. Uh, I, I gotta check later. That. <laughs> yeah, they implemented some sort of where they had to start from the ground up with it and reapply it. One of the dev developers stated that on on Twitter recently. It's all I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they'll fix it. Who knows? I don't mind grinding weeklies. Honestly, I like grinding weeklies, but like you do it and it's frozen, like whatever. I'll yeah, it's it's all kind of messed up and weird. Yeah. Anyway, it looks like they're on that. Um, but that was two point two. So pretty much a disaster. And especially for new players that want to come by, especially if they don't like the new Call of Duty game, they're like, Why the fuck would I play this game? Everything's frozen and buggy. And these new guns that I got are not good. Like mm -hmm. they're kind of yep. underwhelming, and they have no skins. They have no attachments. Like what? 
what's going on here. They'll just move on to something else. Not a real good look right now for Battlefield. Um, so you're all caught up, everyone watching. <laughs> but um, one one last topic that I want to talk about. It's a pretty big topic here. And this is uh, Portal. And Portal, what has become of Portal a year later, uh, or more than a year later, for 2042? Portal, to me, this is my quick hot take, and I'll let you guys have the stage here. Portal is hardcore community central. That's yep. all it is. Plain and simple. If you want to play hardcore, you go to Portal. There's plenty of players on there across the entire world. There's not that many servers. That's where you go. Okay? Yep. That's what Portal is. It is hardcore. There's no full custom servers. It's either hardcore or you're by yourself doing something and uh i don't know what exploiting xp with freaking yep. ammo crates or something like something <laughs> nerdy like that i'm sure like the flashbang in boxes just like flashbang everything <laughs> in tier but one. that that's portal in a nutshell in my opinion you guys give your takes about that but before we do that um should the, the other question i want to bring up to you guys is should portal remain a separate thing Thing in future battlefields or maybe perhaps you want to get rid of it completely i don't know uh let's start with you uh brother steve what do you think of portal what it is now and should it be separated from uh, it's a separate experience go ahead uh, portal like you said is nothing but hardcore servers hardcore 800 percent damage and like real war <laughs> real iraq war like oh my goodness all the boomers um <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah like, there's nothing really ever cool besides like some like community games like fmbs happen on occasion or like events right. but like other than that it's literally just hardcore or xp farming or bot farming like and then i don't think they should keep portal going for the next battlefield like it was a cool okay. idea cool concept but no i don't like it <laughs> give us the the uh, persistent servers for the base game you know what i mean <laughs> give us okay. server base game <laughs> not portal <laughs> all right what do you think grab i could spend an hour on this topic alone um <laughs> let's do it <laughs> honestly yeah, okay. 10 minutes <laughs> yeah i know right so portal in itself just like you guys are saying it's a hardcore i mean it's nothing but hardcore more like a hardcore server mess there's nothing but a bunch of people that are trying to implement milsim stuff and bot farming and all the other junk um, if you're going to use Portal like that, then no. That First off, Hardcore should be part of the game anyway. It should be its own separate option because mm -hmm. that just simplifies everything. Um, mm -hmm. Two, I love the idea of Portal. I love the idea that you can have classic maps and everything and, and, and make your own server, but the game in itself should have all that anyway. A battlefield game should launch with its de with its default standard set of maps, and then everything, even classic content, should be included and and added on to that as a, to make it a total experience. It shouldn't be kept separate for in, in, whether it's separate whether it's separate browsers or modes. I think that's ridiculous. Um, I love the idea of of, of pulling back old content, like you know remastering a BF nineteen forty two game or remastering BF three. I think that's I think it's a worthwhile attempt. I think it's just I'll add so well. terribly implemented in this game because it's so wrong. It, you know, you, you Battlefield, I've, I've explained this a hundred times, is such a complex game. There's so many interconnecting systems and everything needs to be working properly that even if you look at Battlefield 3 or 4 or 1 or 5, despite the way that they get... When DICE left them and left them, they still had bugs and problems. To attempt to remaster more than one at a time is folly. You cannot do it. Like, if you're not going to devote your full studio or full attention to it, you can't do it. Um, so I, 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 I like the attempt, but just let a different studio remaster your game if you want to do that. You can't devote your resources to making an incomplete product and then and then complaining that your your, your community is mad about it because you left out a bunch of features like that's just inevitable um i think that while portal is a great thing it should it just highlights that one a server browser with custom game mode should be a default feature in every battlefield game and second if you're gonna have a a, a battlefield experience that is completely community driven and completely battlefield remaster driven 
It should be its own separate entity, set its own separate product that is completely driven by its own dedicated studio. Have a free-to-play Battlefield Porter game, Portal game, that is completely monetized. It's driven by, by free-to-play player experiences, skins, all that. You remaster one game at a time. You bring back the community, and it's completely separate. You can have, you can release Battlefield 6, Battlefield 7, Battlefield 8, and this can be a 10-year project by another studio that continually improves it and gives pro it gives more um, you know uh, updates to it, more maps, completely remasters past games, and it's its own separate experience with its own player base. I think that's the way Portal should exist. I agree. Beautiful. But I also, want, I also wanted to add in, like the the maps from Portal look amazing. Like running around like North 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 Shaw Canal or Valparaiso, the maps look fantastic. You know, being mm -hmm. brought up to the modern engine and all that look amazing. I like that. <laughs> There's no, also sure. an argument to be made that past maps that they want to include were not are not good to make be remade for modern modern maps. El Alamein in 1942 was a moderately bad map. And it was completely <laughs> oh, empty. Oh, I, I know uh, your YouTube video. Why about, like, would, the worst maps? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, it's cool if you're going to remake El Alamein, but you, if after 20 years, you can make, you can take the upgrades. You know, you can give it a remaster, like they did with Valparaiso. You know, if mm -hmm. a map is missing a bunch of content, feed it in a little bit, make it better, improve it. If you're going to do it, it's you don't need to remake a classic and just completely throw away, you know, or, you know throw away the opportunity to, to improve it. Exactly. Whatever that Valparaiso team did, just do what they did. Have yeah, the passion fantastic. there. That's feel, the best map, map in 2042. Uh, it's yep. the best one. Probably my favorites, yeah. Easily. It's, uh, it's just beautifully done. Uh, they improved it for Conquest, which is never possible on that map. And uh, they should follow in those guys' footsteps. Whoever put that together should do that. Oh no, brother Steve. <laughs> oh god, we're losing him. He's getting, he's getting EMP striked. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> no. He's getting hacked okay. by Rao right now. Yeah. He's getting hacked by Rao. Yeah, exactly. Jesus. Uh, it, all right, yeah. brother Steve, you're back. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell's going on. It's all Sorry. good, man. It's probably some <laughs> crash or something, but you're back now. It's, um, I, only, I only have two things ready at once. All I have is the webcam and Jesus, Discord going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, I don't know. It could be a whole bunch of different things. Um, but we're glad you're back. Anyway, um, so what were we talking? Uh, the portal, right? Yeah. Um, what was the last topic we were talking about? Was, other than uh, we're talking about the maps and how like they look good, but like they need to be made good and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hmm. 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 I kind of lost my train of thought. I suppose. Uh, gravity. Do you want to just? start this uh or end the portal discussion i guess or i think we can the, continue it i think in the end we we we're all in agreement that there is so much of a possible benefit to a battlefield game with with the tools of portal but they shouldn't be implemented it yeah. implemented via the way that portal is it should be mostly integrated with the main game and any of the drastic things that they want to do and the ambitious goals of remastering old games should be kept separate and that's pretty much the way that uh, i see okay it. Uh, it has have they abandoned Portal? Yeah, we didn't get any Portal maps this season, did we? Season two, we didn't get one. We didn't get one. In, did we didn't we get did, one ever. No, and I, we were just talking about that while you were while you were uh, rebooting. Um, what the hell happened to Ripple Effect? We were just saying that they yeah. were on the studio in charge of this, and like we have received no content. It's like Firestorm all over again, except in the and the problem with Firestorm was, or the the context of Firestorm. Criterion said, here, here, Dice, have the reins to this mode, and then Dice abandoned it. it. But in it, this case, it, Criterion is still in charge. Um, we just, there, it, it's such a weird thing that we don't have any more content or anything. Oh, up to they're just it. adding guns. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's it. Like, that's what they're adding. I think they had budget constraints, and they literally can't add a new remastered map on there, and maybe they want to go a separate direction. Yeah. But and we work were on told the new so iteration. They, ha they have the whole studio available. They, that's what we're told. Yeah, the whole team's there. And I think one of the things that that shows the weaknesses of Portal is again, it's the it's the maps that and, and the integration of what should be integrated into a normal Battlefield game and what shouldn't. Because look at the Portal maps. The, the Exodus Conquest playlist is one of the best playlists in in Battlefield yep. 2042, and that utilizes all those Portal assets that just should be in the main game anyway. 
and they're doing that for season three. They're taking a lot of portal assets and putting it into this class system. They had to, to add extra flavor to it or robustness to it. I don't know. So I think the like, lesson here is you have a separate studio, make a ton more maps, make a ton more assets, and you launch the game with that. And that's how you generate your content. And you, you know, you build your battlefield game off with you start it with robustness and a ton of guns and a ton of maps and you get you know you get all the bug fixes done you know later but you at least have the content ready to go with another studio and not not with this all other project that shouldn't shouldn't really be needed cuz that's what they're talking about again is like uh you know ripple effect saying that portal is not the end is just this is just the beginning and that they have some sort of secret uh new mode like kind of similar to what we got for hazard zone which ended up being crap right? oh my god hazard zone. so that's they, a thing as well yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, been dead that's gone <laughs> <laughs> hey, that button that's down gone. there is just a button it doesn't do anything uh <laughs> so what what is really the future of portal it, it looks like they want to keep it alive but as what gravity said what if they just go for free to play for the portal like we all thought they should have done in this game but in my opinion I think Portal should be integrated into All Out Warfare. It should be one big package, not separate. Because uh, I get more content that way. Mm -hmm. It may not be, it may not make a whole lot of sense, you know, like, especially with all the different factions and, you know, different type of weaponry and eras. Like, it would be kind of like a, a Frankenstein kind of battlefield game. It would be really kind of weird. But I get more I it worked, content though. that way. It worked. <laughs> well, especially if I gave the older weapons ability to. To challenge the the normal weapons as well. Well, this yeah. this is odd because this this again this falls back into a video I made in late 2019 before 2042 was even announced, and I called it uh, a dream of, a dream of Battlefield, where it's like it's an hour long video, but it's the proposal I had where you launch a Battlefield game with eight with with a, with a certain setting, a futuristic setting, and ten maps or whatever, and then after six months or eight months, you integrate all the past. You know, you you have a a giant DLC pack of six classic battlefield maps from bf3 and you re you just you slowly add a whole new era of content together so every six months or eight months you'd have battlefield 3 six or eight battlefield 3 maps a bunch of eight battlefield 3 weapons and vehicles and then you patch that and you fix that and you balance that and then eight months later you add in battlefield one content and you add world war one stuff and you just slowly combine the eras but you do it responsibly and you know as a dlc if you're gonna build I a think, game over the right, arrows they, they did the dlc system instead of the live service system you know what i mean like have like four or five maps weapons every four to five months you know what i mean like that'd be awesome but i think yeah. we need to break away from the live service like give us back dlcs yeah i think yeah. you generate more revenue expensive. anyway <laughs> sounds really expensive i don't know if they're willing to pay that much because Right too, now much content. too much content. <laughs> yeah, we say we say content. we say it'll cost too much, but here they are with Criterion, and then opening up a whole new studio devoted to a single player. I mean, I feel like that's that's a <laughs> that's, that's, that's a that's move probably up. money from somewhere else, though. Maybe I don't know. Uh, that EA. I have no idea how EA works, and this is just you know from a player perspective, it's just odd. Mm -hmm. It's really weird, like. Uh, it's slow and boring. I don't know. Honestly. I respect the I, I respect <laughs> like, the I respect the live service model, but it does not work for Battlefield. And it just if it's I wasn't the content creator, I would have given up on this game a long time ago, honestly. Yeah, me a too. long time ago. Yeah, I would come back to the launch of every season for about two, three weeks. Oh, no more content for the next eight weeks. All right, bye. See you later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know it's, I mean? it's, and, and many of us content creators are already just completely either abandon the game altogether or we're slipping away one by one just ex to dipping our oh, fingers yeah. in other games i mean steve how many times did we get asked what game our group played at twitchcon and we said oh battlefield and we either had a an expression of people rolling their eyes or they'd go oh you play that game. Or, or that game's still alive? Yeah, it yeah. was just... Proud, yeah. <laughs> You're not like, proud of the game you play. Right, it's like people... But like BF5, though. We're like, yeah, we play BF5, because during TwitchCon 2019, the Pacific Theater just launched. We're like, yeah, this game is great. Content just dropped. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, or BF1, it, for that matter. Yeah. It really is just are like proud of that game, you know? Yeah. It really is just the reorganization of the scope and... How they want to put out content for that game. They, if they can just 
I, I don't think live service is feasible, but if it's going to be feasible, at least devote a heck of a lot of resources to getting out the content in a timely, timely manner to keep the game alive from the get-go. Like, if you wait a year before, hey, a big DLC drops, there's no way. Like, there's... You just are... There's, you can't keep a game alive like that. I also believe, like... Them putting a limit like this is like a four like a four season one year game like they limit themselves and like live service for one year is not enough. You need multiple years for a good live service, in my opinion. Like yeah. Siege, it's Overwatch, it... you need content, need length for development time and ideas. You know, and this That's falls back to Battlefield's business. Battlefield's it's development it... time problem. The, the 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 development cycle it's, for it... Battlefield is wrong. It just fundamentally is. You can't put out a Battlefield game every two to three years. It has to be four or five, and like make it a epic giant leap per thing. And with the mm -hmm. so this way, you know, if you had a team that said you released a giant Battlefield game every four years, and you said. This game had four years of development. It had four years of content ready to go. It had four years of bug fixes, or at least a year of decent bug fixes and, and, and testing before it launched. And then for five years after that, you had a team that was dedicated to giving content and patches and updates. I'm sticking with that game for five years. You know, I'm not going to abandon Destiny. it. Destiny's still going strong. They actually delete content from Destiny because it got too big. <laughs> yeah, it's just you're moving too fast with these games. The way that the way that I've said it before, Call of Duty for what it is, it can be it it can be allowed to f release a game every two years because for the most because part, they have it's fundamentally the same. Well, that and it's fundamentally the same game type every year. You're you're iterating off of the same thing. You're constantly having the same 20, 30 player games that have S and D and your your basic Call of Duty game modes. Whereas Battlefield is you're redesigning everything from the ground up the vehicle physics the engine the you know the movement and you can't right. do that every two years it just it's re so re reinventing long. the wheel every single time <laughs> yeah watch them go to another new engine <laughs> for the next game uh marcus leto uh, said that Unreal he said no. 6? marcus okay. leto said that they're using uh frostbite but the, the, his words were it's it's it his due for some significant upgrades which it is so that's what it's going to be. Well, that's for. Yeah. OK, but in, but in that case, I guess that could, does confirm it. Yeah, huh? But I mean, in that case, you know, the next next game will be like an unreal. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Right. Well, let's just hope the optimization is there, because that's really most. That's what killed so much. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of weird stuff going on, even with the current game. And all it did was add like an event and a couple guns yeah. and all things falling apart now. Yeah. But uh, the, anyway, the spaghetti code just breaks apart. <laughs> yeah, the spaghetti. Yeah. Anyway, let's wrap it up there. Brother Steve, uh, uh, stick around. We're going to do some overtime that we like to do here on the channel, talking about some random topics and whatnot. But that was pretty much the main show. Brother Steve, thank you so much. No for problem. Being our I, I love you guys. Guest. So Hell nice yeah. talk to y'all. And I got to see Gravity like IRL. He's so cute. He's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you a hug? He's shy. He's he gave me shy many, IRL he, as well. He gave me many bear hugs. Hug. Yes. Yeah, many bear hug, hugs. Right? Yes. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, Brother Steve. I hope you had a fantastic no time on the Battlefield show. Welcome back. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot more uh, opportunities to talk about Battlefield as they are continuing the Battlefield franchise for the future. Uh, thank you, Gravity, for being my wonderful co-host. And everyone out there watching on YouTube, uh, listening on Spotify, we have all the podcast platforms there. You guys want to download that, do that. Rate and review on there if you can. Uh, I'll post a little tidbits and uh, uh, video clips on YouTube Shorts and Instagram and uh, TikTok. I do all that stuff there very busy so, man. very busy man. <laughs> very busy yeah we gotta get more battlefield show content i know we've been out for a couple weeks but uh plenty of stuff here for this episode and thank you so much for watching and uh we'll see you down there in the comment section have a good night everybody and uh we'll see you next time